Welcome to the first lesson in our course on the history of Palestine. In this lesson, we will explore the geography, climate and early settlements of Palestine along with the historical significance of this region. This foundational understanding will provide context for the complex history that follows. Let's start with an overview of Palestine's geography. Palestine is a small region located in the eastern Mediterranean, often referred to as the Holy Land, due to its religious significance to Jews, Christians and Muslims. Geographically, it is bounded by Lebanon to the north, the Mediterranean Sea to the west, Egypt to the southwest and Jordan to the east. The region encompasses a variety of landscapes including coastal plains, the western edge of Palestinian uh, borders, the Mediterranean Sea, featuring fertile plains that have been ideal for agriculture throughout history. These plains are narrow in the north and broaden as they extend southward. The central highlands, moving inland, the terrain rise into a series of hills and mountains, including the Judean Hills and the Sumerian Hills. This area has historically been home to many ancient cities, including Jerusalem and Hebron. Jordan Rift Valley To the east, the land drops sharply into the Jordan Rift Valley, a part of the Great Rift Valley that stretches from Syria to Mozambique. The Jordan River runs through this valley, feeding into the Dead Sea, which is the lowest point on Earth's surface. Negev Desert in the southern part of Palestine lies the Negev Desert, an arid region that covers more than half of modern-day Israel. Despite its harsh conditions, the Negev has been inhabited since ancient times. Palestine's location at the crossroads of Africa, Asia and Europe has made it a strategic and contested area throughout history. The region's diverse topography has also contributed to its cultural and economic diversity. Let's now address climate of Palestine. Palestine experiences a Mediterranean climate characterized by hot, dry summers and mild, wet winters. The coastal regions enjoy moderate temperatures year-round, while the inland areas, particularly the central highlands, experience more significant seasonal variations in the coastal areas, the coastal plain has a typical Mediterranean climate with average temperatures ranging from 10 degrees centigrade, which becomes 50 degrees Fahrenheit in winter, to 30 degrees centigrade, which is 86 degrees Fahrenheit in summer. Rainfall is concentrated in the winter months and the area is generally humid. The Central Highlands the highlands including Jerusalem are cooler due to their elevation. Summers are warm, but not as hot as the coast, while winters can be chilly with occasional snowfall. The Jordan Rift Valley This area is warmer with a semi-arid climate. Summers can be extremely hot, especially around the Dead Sea, where temperatures often exceed 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Negev Desert. The Negev experiences extreme desert conditions with scorching summers and cool winters. Rainfall is scarce and the desert is one of the driest regions in the world. The climate has shaped the way people live and work in Palestine. The fertile plains and adequate rainfall in the coastal and highland regions have supported agriculture for millennia. While the arid areas have been home to nomadic tribes and have seen less permanent settlements. Let's see the early settlements in Palestine. Palestine's fertile land and strategic location made it an attractive area for early human settlement. Archaeological evidence suggests that some of the earliest known human communities in the region date back to the Paleolithic era over 100,000 years ago. The Neolithic Revolution by around 10,000 BCE, the region saw the rise of the Neolithic Revolution, 
where communities transitioned from hunter-gatherers lifestyle to settled agriculture. Jericho, one of the world's oldest continuously inhabited cities, emerged during this period. Its ancient walls and structures are testament to its long history. The Canaanite Civilization The Canaanites were among the earliest known inhabitants of Palestine. They established city-states across the region by the Bronze Age around 3000 BCE. These cities, such as Megiddo, Hazor, and Laitish, were centers of trade and culture, connected by a network of roads that facilitated commerce with neighboring civilization in the Egypt, Mesopotamia, and the Levant. Philistine and Israelites By the late Bronze Age, the region saw the arrival of Philistines, who settled in the coastal areas, and the Israelites, who established themselves in the central highlands. These groups, along with others, would play significant roles in the region's history. The early settlements in Palestine laid the foundation for the development of complex societies in the region's cities became focal points of cultural and economic exchange. Let's now address the historical significance of Palestine. Palestine's historical significance is profound, rooted in its central location and its role as a cultural and religious crossroads. The religious importance. Palestine is sacred to the three major monotheistic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Jerusalem, in particular, holds deep religious significance. For Jews, it is the site of the ancient temple and the spiritual center of the Jewish people. For Christians, it is where Jesus Christ was crucified and resurrected, making it central to Christian theology. For Muslims, it is home to the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the third holiest site in Islam and is associated with the Prophet Muhammad's night journey. The Cultural Crossroads Throughout history, Palestine has been a melting point of cultures, where diverse civilizations have left their mark. The Canaanites Egyptians, Israelites, Assyrians, Babylonians, Persians, Greeks, Romans, Byzantines, Arabs, Crusaders, Ottomans and others have all controlled or influenced the region at different times. This rich tapestry of cultural influences has shaped the region's identity. The Strategic Location Palestine's position at the crossroads of major trade routes made it a valuable and contested territory. The Via Maris and the King's Highway, two major ancient trade routes, pass through the region connecting Egypt and Mesopotamia and the Mediterranean with the Arabian Peninsula. Control of these routes meant economic power, making Palestine a coveted land for empires. The historical significance of Palestine extends beyond its borders, influencing the development of neighboring regions and playing a central role in the religious and cultural history of the world. It's time to conclude our lesson. In this lesson, we have explored the geography, climate, and early settlements of Palestine, as well as the historical significance of the region. Understanding these foundational aspects provides essential context as we delve deeper into the complex history of Palestine. In the upcoming lessons, the region's unique geographical features, diverse climate, and rich history have all contributed to its role as significant and contested land throughout human history. Thank you for your time and see you in the next lesson.